what I was thinking. I thought maybe she was young, dropped the C word. Ah, classic Thandie Newton celebrating that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so so that that and for Dan Hardy, wow, who would be Dan Hardy? Well, it's gotta be someone really, really fucking cool, right? Mm. Oh, did, oh, was I allowed to swear? Sorry. No, um, you, you can swear. This is this is Australia. We do what we want. We don't have to we don't we don't have to apologize to the uh, audience yes, like you, you did. Do you know what, right? Do you know what? I've had so, I had so much <laughs> shit come my way because of that. It, and now and now I'm even getting people saying I'm making it up. Like it's as if my whole thing is I, I want to swear. I, I want to apologize for swearing on a broadcast. Not that I've got enough going on during <laughs> the night that I, that when someone's almost in tears and says, and you know, says the F word, then I've got to not react to the fact that he's just said something really profound. I've got to go, yeah, sorry about the swearing, everyone. I'm sorry. Yeah. For yeah, I really want to do that, guys. Of course I don't want to do that. But we have something called Ofcom over here. And apparently BT Sport have been hit really hard in the pocket uh, whenever there's been swearing online and they, they haven't apologized for it. And oh, I, wow. and then I heard, because I, follow, I followed up on this as well. And, and they're, you know, they may well start fining the UFC or passing those fines on. So... Yes, we don't want that. Sorry. Um, you, you're going to be known to, yeah. as John, sorry for the colourful language, Gooden, from now on, basically. I know. Do you know what? It was just, it was ridiculous. And some people are like, I can't even believe you're apologising for this. But it wasn't, I wasn't necessarily apologising. I think it's really important sometimes for the fans to understand what it's like for maybe referees, judges, um, other other people behind the camera or the mic. Sometimes there are things that go on that others might not, See, I'm, I've come from the sport and I know how much people want to understand every single part of the game and who does what, why, um, and why things might change. And, and as long as it doesn't hurt the UFC or, or the sport, then I'm happy to I'm happy to, to say, look, and be honest, look, we have no choice. You know, there's no delay here. We can't bleep it. So, mm. so really it's more of a, I hate to use the word educational because I don't want to sound um, demeaning to anyone mm-hmm. about it. Which just like I'm just setting the record straight. For those that didn't know, there are rules out there. So we have to. We're no different. We have to adhere to them. And yes, we can elbow someone in the face and create an opening to another universe. But we're not allowed to say fuck. Yeah. (laughs) Sorry. It's just the world we live in. Yeah. That's okay, guys. I'd like to apologize for John's language on the interview. But no, John, let's let's get back to Dan Hardy because I'm fascinated with this. Who's playing him in the John Gooden movie? 